Good morning, you listen to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm at the StarNet meeting in Scottsdale, and I'm with Leonard Zimajewski with Mr. Davids and John Becker with Floors by Becker. And the news that we're going to talk about is the fact that you guys have just announced a couple weeks ago a new partnership. Let's get into that in just a minute. First, Leonard, if you don't mind, tell us briefly um, the background on Mr. Davids. David and I started Mr. David's approximately 45 years ago, pretty much right out of school. And we started as a retail residential carpet installation company, which is what we did for about two or three years. And then we went into commercial work, primarily specializing in hospitality. We became a nationwide hospitality contractor up until 9-11. Right after 9-11, we expanded our business due to what had happened into doing as complete dealer services in the Chicagoland area. And then probably eight or nine years later, we exp- start expanding geographically throughout the country. Mm-hmm. And 12 locations now, right? 12 locations today, yes. Okay. All right. and, and I might add, if you don't mind, that if you were to say the top five StarNet members, you're one of the top five. Yes. All right. John, you know, I just interviewed you last year because you won an award. But uh, again, just for the listeners' benefit, r- roughly take us through Floors by Becker. Floors by Becker's was really spawned off of the original company, Becker Brothers Incorporated, which was started by four brothers, Harold, Bill, Jim, and Dick Becker in 1959, which also started as a residential service-only company and took it through 1994. We had some major contracts with the Dayton Hudson Corporation, which is today's target. In 1994, we felt our destination was controlled a little bit too much by a small pool of our our business, and we decided that we needed to expand into the sales and be a more complete contractor as well. So 1994, Floors by Becker's was started. Bill and myself initiated it, and with the blessings of the original founders of Becker's, we took it from a startup company, and in 2012 or so, we basically took the label to a different level and became more of a holding company approach with the labor company, a union contractor servicing the uh, service side of the business. Mm -hmm. And you have two locations That's correct. Two locations are in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and the other one is in St. Cloud, Minnesota, which is about an hour out of the Twin Cities. Okay, so the news is that the two companies have formed a partnership. Give us a few of the details on that partnership, if you would. Well, we were looking at an industry that was rapidly changing in front of us and and wanted to expand and grow, and we had succession plans that we had discussed, and there was a lot of activity around the company and private equity and other uh, people looking to get involved in our business. And we weren't ready for that path. And we decided that through about a year-long talk with Mr. Davis, started casual at StarNet and eventually grew into a due diligence position. And we felt there was a lot of synergies, a lot of things that we had initiated and started our businesses off of that was pretty powerful and something that we could really build on that platform. And uh, we're very excited about the partnership going forward. Mm -hmm. And, And so what are the synergies? If, if I may ask. The synergies, first of all, we have labor. We both believe very strongly in our workforce, and we're both union contractors. The synergies we have are hard work. We have a lot of strategic look forward people within the organization, and I think we're going to continue to add enterprise value through, like Leonard mentioned, the uh, digital platform and some of the other uh, folks that we're putting on that are going to allow us to uh, really expand and grow the business. And both of these organizations were started as family-run companies as well, right? That's correct. Very strong family tradition in both companies, and uh, that was a very compelling part of it. We almost felt like we were brothers somewhere in a past life. I think it's you know that's one of the more exciting things is the cultures that we both share were very strong and, and very much aligned. Is this going to give you more time to play hockey? Actually not. <laughs> I, I believe my schedule just got a little bit busier, Kemp. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, and we've got to dig in, and we're looking forward to it. We've got a great team on both sides of the fence, and we're excited about the enterprise you know, and the forward look. And does this eliminate the possibility of, uh, say, you, you having an heir like your son, perhaps wanting to come in, the, if he wanted to come in the business, could he? Yes. My son, Elliot, has been involved in the business. He's a college student right now, but he's been working in the field. He, he seems to like the business and the people that are involved in the business. And, you know, time will tell what the uh, landscape will look like in eight to ten years. We're not sure, but if there's a place for him, we're certainly going to have a, a bigger tent for him to come into. All right. And so how will your role change? 
My role really won't change. I'm remaining CEO of uh, Becker's in Minneapolis. My role will change. It'll probably change more towards the growth of the company versus the day-to-day operations, but I still will have a strong hand in day-to-day and uh, problem-solving and, and solutions, you know, some of the strengths that I bring to the organization. And actually, the beauty of this is you continue with this name, Floors by Becker's, that's well-known in this area. So it's going to be seamless when it comes to your customers. Actually, you'll probably be able to provide better service levels, but they'll know the same company, right? Absolutely. The Becker's label is 60 years old this year, and Mr. David's, Leonard, David, felt it was very strong, as their label is very strong. We want to actually grow that label, and it's strong in the region. It, it means a lot to our general contractors and, and the customers that we currently have, and rebranding it probably wouldn't make sense. So, Leonard, what are the long-term plans? Well, we are going to continue to grow the organization, provide opportunities to all of our employees for more advancement, et cetera. When you look at it over the last few years, we've professionalized our management. We've hired, like, Bill Graves to do our overall sales to manage that. Then along with that, we've hired a CEO uh, that has come with national experience at building digital platforms for multi-billion dollar corporations. We've managed to get him to come over to our company and do that. And overall, we're going to drive a lot of efficiency to our floor covering business, along with those that we're working with, such as John, that we can provide IT of a higher level, along with HR, safety. We've got a national safety manager with a lot of experience, a top-notch guy. These are all things that we can provide and create more efficiency, more professionalism to the business. It's very hard for any of us to be able to do this on our own, at least from my experience in the business. It's a very big investment, especially when we talk about the IT and the digital platform that we're building. Mm -hmm. So I know you got started in hospitality, but now you're full-service commercial contractor in every sector, and, and both of you are that way now, right? That's correct, Kim. There isn't a market that we don't touch currently. We're very strong in health care. Education is a very strong market for us. And they're really, you know, corporate uh, hospitality, very strong for both companies. We, we really cross over in that area. We just think that there's a lot of enterprise value when it comes to the, uh, the entire market approach that we have. And I don't think there's a, a customer that we can't service out there. Well, congratulations on this new partnership, and thanks for spending time with our audience. Again, been talking to John Becker and Leonard Zimajowski with Mr. Davids and Floors by Becker about their new partnership, and you've been listening to Kemp Har and FloorDaily.net.